Good morning. You know what I discovered about this camera? There's a red dot on it right there. And if I push that red dot on the screen, it'll start recording. I don't have to reach around behind and push the other button for turning on the record. I've probably made two or three, two thousand videos already with this camera. I didn't know that. Well, I feel better today. Yesterday I was kind of down. It makes a difference to stop in and visit with people on the way to Georgia. Somebody just asked me um, why I drive so far. Don't I? Why, why would I drive? But it's because I get to meet you. There are so many of you and you've given me your addresses and you're all spotted through the East Coast. I have other people in the, in the center and in the west, but the, when I look, when I, I've plotted these on my Google Earth so that when I'm in the area, I can stop by. Anyway, but I never arrange it too much ahead of time, so. Excuse me, because I never know what I'm gonna wanna do. You know, like, I brought my bathing suit. The temperature outside right now is, it's up, it was 8 degrees Celsius this morning, now it's up to 10. I know 10 is 55 Fahrenheit. So maybe it'll get warmer as I go south or more southerly. And maybe because it hasn't been cold very much, maybe the, the lakes will be warm or the rivers. It'll be fun to swim. We need to swim. I just love to travel. I love to see things. I'm usually very content to drive, I'm never bored. I, I look at things, I look at the different kind of trees. Hey, the trees are not turning here. I'm near Staunton, Virginia. They were further, further north. Up in the Shenandoah Mountains, they're all turning. Up in that area. Hey, you turned. You must have slipped out of position. Oh, I see what's going on. There, now I put you on properly. Am I still in the video? Can't even see it. Ah, yes, there I am. When I posted yesterday, I posted on Facebook something about being tired of driving and bored. Sorry, I don't know why I always yawn when I make videos. I know you love it. But I, um, there were, I got 10 comments. It really made me feel good because, you know, I'm out here all by myself on the highway. I meant to have all these instant comments on Facebook, which I read last night. One of them said, just keep filming. That's a good idea. I really enjoy filming. Those two mountains there are very steep. I can't show you because then I'd have to reach over and unscrew that little doofwatchy that's keeping you pointed at me and turn you that way and then no telling if you could even see it. There comes a truck! <sighs> Sorry. A truck is coming. A truck is coming. Cars on top. You'll see him. It's getting closer. There he goes. It was so interesting in, in Holland to look at the websites that were listed on the side of the trucks. You know, the cabs of trucks here are so much bigger than the cab of a truck over there. Probably because they sleep in the trucks here. They might not sleep in the moment. But there were rest areas along the highways and there were still trucks lined up in the evening. Oh my gosh! Am I putting you to sleep yet? What are you looking over there for now? Oh, I see. It's this part that's coming unstuck. Not that part. Well, it's kind of sunny today. I like the brightness, but too bright on my eyes, but then it's a little too dark with sunglasses. I guess I could 
could move you over here if I wanted to. If I wanted to. I don't know if I want to or not, though.
same road. She started to recognize things. I, I try to get off the road here and there and see something. So as I drive, I cross the Shenandoah River and I, I remember, well, that's where I... Boy, these people are going so fast. What's with them? Don't they have police here?
ounces. Each packet is two ounces. So it takes two of them to make a pair of socks. That's what Jen says. So I'll get right on it. But I didn't bring my book for how to make my socks.